Some religious leaders are seen as backward-thinking, arch-conservative dinosaurs who draw nothing but flack from progressive folk. Other religious leaders seem to carry about them an aura of cool and are considered to be right on by these progressive, socially aware types. The way this crowd sees it, if religious leaders were soft toys, the Dalai Lama would be a fluffy little teddy bear, while the Pope would be the Chucky doll from Child's Play. So obviously it's because one of them takes an authoritarian viewpoint on everything, while the other one couldn't be more progressive and tolerant and open-minded. That has to be the reason, doesn't it? Who told a press conference in 1997 that men-to-men -men sex and woman-to-woman -woman sex is sexual misconduct? Was that the Dalai Lama or the Pope? That sounds like the Pope. Incorrect. It oh. was the Dalai Lama. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Who told a Swiss magazine in 2001 that sexual organs were created for the reproduction between the male element and the female element? And anything that deviates from this is not acceptable. Was it the Dalai Lama or was that the Pope? The Pope. Dalai Lama. Really? An anti-abortion lobby group called Consistent Life was given a huge boost after one of the world's most prominent religious leaders offered his endorsement. I'm guessing that would be the Pope. Incorrect, it was the Dalai Lama. Who published a collection of religious teachings declaring that masturbation is forbidden? The Pope. Incorrect. Who declared that oral sex is not acceptable, even between a husband and a wife? Oh, I'll go for the Pope. No, I'm afraid of <laughs> Who published a collection of religious teachings in 1996 declaring that anal sex is not acceptable, even between a husband and a wife? The Pope. Incorrect. <gasps> Who said having sex during the day is sexual misconduct? I'll go with the Pope on that one for sure. Dalai Lama. He's dark on having sex during the day, I can't believe it. I don't know why he'd say sex during the day was a sin. Beyond Dogma, the challenge of the modern world by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. As for when sexual intercourse takes place, if it is during the day, it is also held to be a form of misconduct. All right, we're going to do more reading, obviously. But it's like the, the Pope's more right on than the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Not even the Boy. Pope's up in your face about getting it on in the boudoir during the day. <laughs>